Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 about a group of werewolves with no civilization. The rules for this challenge will be in the description below as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. Now we're rejoining the Snow family and we have Cassidy who gave birth to twin boys. Um, she kind of went into labor as I was loading up the game. So we have Bark Snow and Aster Snow. And I also have neighborhood stories on for these particular families. And I think that's what happened. I'm not sure because I don't know if just flirting with other people would have caused this to happen but Xavier and Cassidy are having a little bit of a let's say problem with their relationship if you can see what I mean I'm not sure how we're going to get her pregnant again if they won't even woohoo so we have to do a romantic repair date and maybe this will count as one of our silver dates with our spouse. Oh. Okay, let's improve our romantic satisfaction. Okay, let's try dancing together and rebuilding our friendship a little bit. I'm not sure how we can improve our romantic satisfaction if we can't even be romantic with each other. It says light physical intimacy, but I'm not sure that that will work. Yeah, she's unflirty. Okay, let's see if we can kiss hands. That might be one that we can kind of do. Okay, she accepted it. So maybe this makes it easier for them to accept physical affection. All right, well, right now we have to tend to the babies. Oh no, he's being mean. Why are you accusing her of spying? Apologize. That's putting you on notice for being mean. You're not supposed to be mean to pack mates. Okay, we're not doing too well with our romantic repair date. Can we make this last longer? Come on. No, unfortunately, it did not work. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, it says talk about woohoo, but... I'm not sure how to do that. Is it under the romance category? Okay, we'll just small talk then because I can't figure out where that talk about woohoo is. Oh, discuss woohoo on TV. That's not really what I want, but it's both small talk and talking about woohoo. Okay, now they're going to be wholesome, which is good. All right, can we do some light physical intimacy and then hopefully, oh, they're beastie boogieing. That is so cute. I love that. Okay, we can finally try for a baby and we have silver, so that's good. Okay, that did count as earning silver on a date with my spouse. Oh, it counted twice for some reason. All right, whatever. Now we have to be soulmates, though. Ah, uh, the life of a busy mother. Always trying to take care of the babies and never having time to do fun things. We do need to tell Jared about the tunnels, though. He cannot go up top, and that is annoying. Okay, now that Jared is up top, he has been able to advance his aspiration. So we need to make a best friend. Who's close enough to being good friends with us? Probably Cassidy. Oh, this is unfortunate. How is he hysterical? And he's rampaging. It's overpowering his anger? That's not good. All right, now he's flirty. And hysterical again. This is just so dangerous that I have this playful decor. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's these posts and it just doesn't have the proper description because they're CC. Because it didn't have that playful decoration thing until I put those posts out here. Okay, Jared can become best friends with Cassidy and 
that will advance his aspiration. Now he just needs level five social skill. Okay, so he is now level five and needs to make friends with kids. But he's part of that kids group that I made, so that should be pretty easy to do. He doesn't need to be the leader. Okay, we need three gold dates with our spells. That might be kind of tough. Well, we have maxed out our werewolf abilities, except for werewolf diplomacy, which he can't get for Xavier. Okay, I kind of forgot the babies had a birthday today. <laughs> Whoops. So Aster aged up, and Aster is going to be calm. And Bark is going to be intense. Well, it looks like someone is a picky eater. Come on. You're hungry. A hungry infant should never refuse to eat. No, why do I always have them steal my fruit and vegetables when I'm going to harvest it? It's like they wait until I select harvest all and then they take my stuff. Come on. Why can you not sleep anymore for some reason? I don't get it. Why is he not able to sleep? That's really strange. He has something wrong with him and he can't sleep for whatever reason. Okay, restarting the game fixed it. I don't know why he couldn't sleep. Okay, why is the you can't do this in water back again? I got rid of that underground water that was down here. It's random. It's like sometimes it lets you do the tummy time and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, if I put him down first, I can do tummy time together. All right, whatever. Having infants in the basement is a pain sometimes. I don't know why they have that problem with being underwater and not being able to do tummy time. Okay, socializing with our children has been done because the infants were bugging Cassidy so much that she just basically got that out of the way really quick. Now we have to read for two hours. Okay, now we just have to have a child get married, which is going to take a long time. Okay, Jared and Xavier are going to be difficult. Maybe Xavier's being mean for some reason. Oh, I forgot to check. Oh, Bark is a dormant wolf. Oh, that's not good. He did get some traits from his father, though. So I do have trait inheritance turned on. So Bark is a storm chaser, heat proof, waterproof, ice proof, and long lived already. And then Aster is not dormant or a greater wolf blood, but he is storm chaser, long lived, waterproof, ice proof, and heat proof. Okay, we're working on our lifting our head. I don't think Cassidy will have any problems staying alive during spring, but you never know. You could always get a zero. Okay, and so Jared has two children friends now. DeAndre and Gil. Let's try to make friends with Graceland. Okay, we did. Now we can end the children's club because we just need to make friends with two adults. Okay, we'll try to get three gold dates with our spouse. And it's easier to do the older dates than it is the newer ones. So we just need to flirt a little bit, tell a few jokes, dance. It'll be all good. Um, no, why are you being mean? Don't insult him. Apologize for that. I don't know why she's mean randomly. I think it's because they have a difficult dynamic. Come back here, Xavier. And of course, now I can only attempt to simlish communication. Well, this is going to be a rotten date. Maybe I can pacify him? 
Zuba tube, love a zuby. <laughs> no. Where are you going, Xavier? No, come back here. You can't go in the infant's room. We need to socialize. Attempt simlish communication. Yes, Frosh. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> we can have deep conversations. Oh, it's a gold date. Okay, we'll end this date then. All right, well... I think I'll go take care of the infants now, since Xavier is rampaging. Oh, and Cassidy is eating for two. I hope these Reaper's rewards things don't get in my way. It's asking me to catch fish. Well, I'm going to have to avoid fishing because I want to do those quests with Carla. I wish that you could deactivate them on a specific save file. Okay, so Bark knows how to laugh now. Of course, neither one of them are doing very well on their gross motor. Okay, so Bark can now grab. And then we're trying to get Aster to lift his head. Are you already tired? You just got up. Fine, go to sleep. And you're asleep now. Well... The kids don't stay up for very long. Okay, Jared maxed the social skill and he's going to become friends with Maddie. He's already friends with Mara. So the other collective family... Um, wait a second. <laughs> Jared, you're supposed to make friends with the Wild Fangs family. Whoops. I have him over here hanging out with the collective. Oh well, that's fine. Great. I got the Ambrosia Society's newsletter. I don't want it. Okay, well, Jared completed his aspiration when I wasn't watching. Oh, it's raining. Now, it's already Wednesday, and I don't think we've had any disasters yet. Pretty sure we haven't. That's kind of strange. Normally, I have at least one by now. All right, we need to contribute some stuff in order to improve our pack participation. I'm kind of disappointed in how they did this. I don't like the fact that it shows up with whatever family you're currently playing with. I want it to be so that I can turn it on and off like the discovery quests, which I'm pretty sure I have the discovery quests off for this save file. Okay, this is interesting. I can't believe you are still seeing Xavier. I just don't get what you see in him. Well, Cassidy is married to Xavier. And he's her fated mate. So, yeah, of course we're still together. I haven't really seen those little pop-ups or phone calls about romances before. That must be something interesting and new for the Love Day expansion pack. You guys are asleep again. I'm going to wake one of you up. We got to work on your milestones. All right, now Aster is laughing and we need to try and get Bark some more milestones. So he can lift his head and roll over to his back. And now he needs to roll over to his tummy. Okay, so Bark has rolled over to his tummy. Now we need to see if Aster can do the same. And of course, Aster needs to go to sleep. I'm not sure if we can both become flirty at the same time. That is kind of difficult, especially when Cassidy is unflirty. Maybe if we have some deep conversations, apologize again. Oh, that was quick. We didn't even have to... Oh, she told a story automatically somehow. Okay, well, next we need to do one more date. And why are you yelling at her? You're accusing her of spying? She's not a spying person. Okay, stop it. Apologize immediately. 
I don't know why that continues to happen. Maybe because they're difficult. And of course, now we both need to be flirty at the same time, which is going to be difficult. And now we need to be both playful at the same time. I don't like those challenges. Um, he's very angry. Okay, loud noises. He doesn't like the loud noises. We should stop that then. Okay, they have a lot of funny moodlets, but they also have a lot of other moodlets. Okay, so there's a playful one. Come back here, Cassidy. Okay, well, we don't need to be both playful at the same time. Good. Okay, that was a three dates. Now we need to perform 50 romantic gestures with spouse as soulmates. And hopefully we can maintain the soulmate classification. Well, maybe my disasters are broken. It's Friday. We've made it almost an entire week with no disaster. And I did double check my lot challenges. They are definitely on. And this is what I thought would happen when I first started this series is that I would hardly ever get any disasters. So I made the percentages kind of high. But now it seems like I'm going back to the, oh, disasters only happen maybe once a week or not at all. And this is definitely new. Okay, maybe if I give them a whole bunch of romantic interactions and keep them doing romantic interactions, we won't get any bad sentiments. Okay, now they're both very satisfied in their relationship, so hopefully the romance won't die again. Okay, apparently Cassidy had had enough of that. Oh, now she's drinking something when she needs to pee. I hate how they can get drinks out of the refrigerator, even though they're on a simple living lot. Okay, now they can both roll over to their tummies and practice tummy time on their own. I don't know if that will ever make them sit up, but sometimes it does. Jared, why are you going to yell at your father? I guess Jared is entering in a rebellious phase or maybe a mean streak? No, you're just being mean to be mean. I guess you're erratic. Alright, don't be mean. We are going to give you a talking to. Because you're being mean. Okay, I have this try to make friends option from Carl. But now I need a try to make romance option. Because it's annoying having to randomly individually select 50 different romance interactions for this did you just pick to go woohoo i did not select that i'm pretty sure i did not okay well that's what they chose to do okay so next she needs to come back and feed these babies because they're getting kind of hungry Okay, unfortunately, she's about to rampage, but I can still help with needs. I just can't feed them directly. Oh, Bark sat up? Well, he did that all by himself. Oh, why are you crying, Bark? You need to go to sleep. Okay, go to sleep. I almost thought that was a disaster, but it's not. It's just the thunder outside and... Oh, who died? Oh, no, wait, that's a pet one. Yeah, he must have died from old age. Oh, Cassidy's gone into labor. Okay, that means she has to stay in here. Because I want her to have the babies in there. Okay, Cassidy's having her babies. I was going to have her go give Aster a bath, but nope, don't have time for that. And it's a boy, so we're going to have Reed and another boy. And we'll name this one Hunter. Okay, so we have two boys again. Okay, Aster, I'm coming, I'm coming. Sorry you had to wait. 
Well, there are lots of crying babies now. This family is doing excellent. I mean, they've completed a whole bunch of aspirations. They are pretty much set as far as children. And it seems like we're not getting any disasters. Which is fine as long as it's not bugged. I hope it's not bugged. So I'll allow that for the spring but if we go to the next family and I still don't get any disasters, then I got to assume that they are kind of bugged. And if they are, then what I'll have to do is I'll have to go back to doing death rolls at the end of a season. And that's kind of annoying because if you do them right at the very end, you kind of don't get the spontaneity of it so we'll just have to deal with that as we go okay try to go night night no fussing try to go night night too many babies <laughs> that's the disadvantage of having so many babies oh and speaking of having so many babies we still need to get Cassidy pregnant again so if you haven't joined my Discord, the link for that will be in the description and also in the comments. If you can go ahead and join before this weekend, October 4th through the 6th, I will be having some pack giveaways. So you'll have a chance to get some free Sims 4 packs. Now this is mostly going to be uh, guaranteed to work in the United States. I'm not sure if it will work for all countries just because I have to make sure that the regions are okay, but I will try. So if you want to go ahead and join the Discord, the instructions on how to sign up for the giveaway will be October 4th through 6th, and I will be giving away at least a couple of packs. And there's no purchase necessary to enter, it's all going to be random. And we're going to have some live streaming as well as I will be attending a convention. We might do some building for the Super Sim series. I might build the museum or the retail store where we're going to have all of our stuff for the Super Sim. So if you want to stop by the channel sometime during the weekend, I will be doing a lot of live streaming, hopefully, as long as my internet connection holds out. So for now, it looks like this family is just going to survive and not have any problems. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.